Because look, when they don't, look what happens now. Now we have 10 people dead, three people injured, mad people traumatized. And then on the flip side of things, you got the um, BLM co-founder, because you know, in times like this, you would think you need Black Lives Matter, right? Here to save the day. But they're kind of busy right now. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of getting exposed in particular, um, this woman here, Patrice Kuehler, for like just collecting mad dough and just spending it crazy from what people think. There's some people who think differently. They're like, nah, she has the right to give her brother 840 thou for security services. She needs to be secured. They need to be secured. I would imagine like, yo, there's a target on their head. You know what I'm saying? And no, no, no funny shit. No jokes. Like for real. But God damn, bro. God damn. How much do you want from me? Tax filings reveal how BLM co-founder spent charity funds. Black Lives co-founder Patrice Kuehler used charity funds to pay her brother and child's father's eye-watering sums of cash for eye-watering. <laughs> like, yo, yo. That's crazy. Eye-watering sums of cash for various services, according to tax documents filed with the IRS. The co-founder's brother, Paul Kuehler, saw a cool sum of 840000 hit his bank account for allegedly providing security services to nonprofit to the nonprofit organization. Tax documents seen by the post show. Ooh. That's some big money there, fam. You're securing some serious security. Meanwhile, the organization paid a company owned by Doom and Turner, um, who, um, with whom Kuehler shares a child, almost 970000 to help produce live events as well as other creative services. Yo, so like live like this? I'm trying to think of how I could turn this live into $970,000. Can y'all, can y'all give me some suggestions, please? No, you know what I'm talking about, like the big, big live things, you know what I'm saying? stars all over the place people you know these cost money not youtube lives these cost money fam we got to get little baby to perform that's gonna be another ten thousand i know it's charity we're not charging at the door are we hmm let's continue let's continue Mm, okay, on top of the controversy, BLM wrapped up this fiscal year, which runs from July 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2021, with a stunning $42 million in net assets. So what's wrong with that? Donations, donations, gifts, gifts. Y'all can hit that super chat if you want to. Donations, donations, gifts, gifts. The foundation had an operating budget of $4 million, according to the board member. 
More than $37 million was spent by the foundation on grants, real estate, and charter on private flights, according to tax filings. What was the problem? And? <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> I need to take a private jet to get everywhere. I'm BLM. They might recognize me on the plane. Try to shoot me. I ain't never seen her in my goddamn life. So Blue Flame, you said... She's mod, fam. With all that money, she still looks regular. Listen, fam. You don't think that this hair right here is a good six to six hundred to twelve hundred? Do we need to get closer? This is just the one picture. What? Watch right here. I get a little bit closer. Get a little closer, don't be shy. Get a little closer with arid extra dry. <laughs> you know what's crazy, fam? Everybody's behind her. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. We believe in you guys. You guys are doing the best for us. Donations, donations, gifts, gifts. <laughs> I need to take the PJ. You know what I'm saying? I need to be at the clear port, fam. I don't go to the hairstylist. I don't go to the salon. The stylist comes to me. I'm protecting our lives. Because they matter. Just as much as that Skrilla. Right? See, this be the fucked up shit. Because shit like this, you know that whole saying that they say, two steps forward, 10 steps back? This is the epitome of two steps forward, 20 steps back. Because we have a whole organization called Black lives matter because they do. Our, our lives do matter. And the sentiment is still the same. We matter. And it wasn't, it's not because, you know, I don't want to fucking, don't, if I see all lives matter in the chat right now, I'm blocking you. That's obvious. But this sparked, this, this, this phrase sparked because of the escalation of videos that we were seeing of police brutality. You know what I'm saying? To the point where we're seeing people get killed on camera, like as if our lives don't matter as well, us being black people. Hence, black lives matter. So it'd be a cool catchphrase then, you know, let's make an org, let's organize because they keep on telling us we're not fucking organized. So we organize. Let's make, let's take, instead of just making a catchphrase and something, uh, a fucking hashtag that we say on Instagram, let's actually make an organization called this because our lives matter. We're tired of getting like literally like gunned down in public on Facebook, Fernando Castile. You know what I'm saying? Um, Trayvon Martin, George Floyd. Like literally killed on camera. So let's organize. And the thing is, it's not only us that's like, Let's get with this organization. We're starting to rally other races. Yes. We agree. We see the fuckery. We see the hypocrisy. We were riding with you. You know what I'm saying? 
when the George Floyd um, demonstrations were going on a couple of years ago, we've seen not only black people that actually it was like 50 50. I've seen a lot of white people out there in support. You know what I'm saying? They had the BLM um, people that were, you know, quote unquote, organizing um, a lot of these different marches and stuff like that, as well as different organizations in the city, as well as all over the world. OK. Click 2 a.m. They, yes, they did the, the blackout on Instagram. It wasn't just only black people who did the blackout on Instagram. Everybody did it. So an organization would be just something like that we should be doing. Let's take instead of just making it a hashtag or a thing that we say, let's organize and, you know, create, get some funding. And, and really do this, you know what I'm saying? Because they keep on saying we're not organized. We don't fuck with each other like that. You know what I'm saying? You go to the hood, there's not a whole bunch of black businesses. You know what I'm saying? This is what they're saying about the states all the time. This is what they're saying about over here. So let's organize. Let's make a Black Lives Matter organization. And I don't know if it's just my cynical brain, but from when I seen that, I was like, there may be some margin for error. But I was like, yo, I'm riding, I'm black. Fight the power. Now here we are. Let's continue the article here. Now here the fuck we are. Let me change the color on the chat because I got y'all in front of my uh, Netflix ad here and I wanna make sure the chat is seen and heard. Phone lines are open. We are taking calls and we want your opinions on this. Because it's straight fuckery. When like we organize ourselves and then we look crazy after with shit like this. And I say we because this type of shit reflects on all of us as black people because this is supposed to be our organization. It's not called everybody's lives matter. It's called black lives matter. So I still want to be able to say that and say it confidently without people looking at me and saying, well, what about the bitch that took all that money? Anyhow, when more than 32 million was invested in stocks, making up nearly a third of the 90 million the organization received in donations, holy fiznuck. The investments is expected to become an endowment of uh, in a bid to ensure the foundation's work continues in the future, organizers say. So I, I, I'm mad at that. It's a nest egg. You have to run a business. Not all of this is funny, funny money. You know what I'm saying? Not, some of this is not foul play. Okay, the 63-page um, form, um, 990, um, 990 document and annual filing um, required for nonprofit organizations to maintain their tax exempt status shows Kuehler, um reimbursed the organization for $73,523 um, for charter flights. BLM ins um, insists she took the flights in, um, in 2021 out of concern for COVID-19 pandemic and health risks that come with it. So all the flights had to be chartered, okay? And I'm not trying to catch no COVID with you dirty COVID breathing commoners. I need to charter, okay? You guys are breathing that nasty something, something air. Cause I already said the word once. I know how YouTube get, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to breathe the same air as you niggas fam. Like, come on, fam. I'm leading an organization. The air I breathe is very important to me, and I can't share the same air as you motherfuckers, okay? 
You guys in coach, ugh. First class, <laughs> send the PJ. Let's continue. Cuter already found herself in hot water after receiving a cool 120,000 payment for undisclosed consulting fees by BLM. What's up? What you mean? What's the issue? I, I'm very smart. And for me to give you this information, for me to consult with you, especially as the Black Lives Matter co-founder, I'm going to need at least 30 a pop, fam. Come on, fam. It's me. I wonder how many consulting fees or consulting consultations that she had to do to accumulate 120. Maybe she do. Maybe there were a hundred dollars a pop. Okay, we could do the math. If she was doing, you know, hundred dollar consultations, maybe thousand dollar consultations. You know what I'm saying? She did a hundred and twenty thousand dollar consultations. No. Why not? Oh, murder scene. Yo, I don't know why they took, they're not, they're hiding your comment. And yo, NBA city, what up? B20, um, B20B, what up? Whoa, that's what you said? Stop the cap. Y'all do this to each other every day in the hood. Holy, how you really feel? <laughs> It's kind of, it's kind of facts. I ain't even mad at you still. Niggas get shot every day, B. By other niggas. Why wouldn't we fuck each other over on a, on a, on a wider scale? Why not? We do it on a low, on a lower scale every day, no? Oh, you got a trap spot over there? Got to rob that nigga. Oh, look at his chains. He think he icy. Let me take that, fam. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, fam. And inflation is up like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? NBA City, I know nobody ain't tell them to do that, but that's how, that's what people know. You know what I'm saying? This is what, like, the cycle of fuckery has led us to believe is, 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 is a normal thing. You feel me? This has been normalized now. So, it's not a surprise when you see this type of shit. Um, let's continue. After the back-to-back -back controversies, Kuehler last year resigned as executive director of the organization amid the criticism of her lavish lifestyle. Still the young thug. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm going to just finish up this article and we'll... We'll discuss together. The tax filing release closely follows the controversy over the purchase of a $6 million property in Los Angeles. Holy flizzuck. In one shot? Cash? BLM faced the torment of the backlash last month when the publicity emerged that the organization purchased a swanky Southern California home using donations, donations. Donations, donations, gifts, gifts. Kuehler at the time said she was um, weeks removed from being in survival mode after the Post reported re, um, reporting revealed her purchase in a four, um, of, um, of four high-end U.S. homes for $3.2 million. Four of them? 
Foul. She bought the fall for fall. Salute to academics. But houses. I'm gonna need oh the two the three point two million. I'm gonna need four of those. <laughs> Yo, fam. She don't have a ticket to Yo. This is why we got fucking my youth. We have name now. Peyton. Cause these motherfuckers are laughing at us, fam. They're like, you guys can't organize. Y'all ain't got it together. We just run up in the store and do whatever the fuck we want to y'all. Because when y'all do get it together, you fuck each other over. It's making my stomach sick just reading this article, fam. Private party. Oh my God. She's balling out of control. Balling is her hobby, yo. Salute to fucking Big Page. Balling is a hobby. Balling is a hobby. Balling is a hobby. But balling is a hobby because she's blocking and black, 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 black. This is crazy. BLM faced torment um, of backlash last month. Okay, da da da. Read that part. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's go down a little bit further. During the time. She said she hosted a Joe Biden inauguration party for about 15 people, including BLM chapter members and other key allies of the organization. Keeler initially said the property um, was purchased by BLM to serve uh, as a meeting venue and campus. That's a big ass, a fucking campus. Um, she also issued a statement denying suggestions she had lived in, at the property or taken advantage of it for personal gain. Keeler said um, she also threw a private birthday party for her son at the property in March 2021 and intended to pay a rental fee to BLM. So. Let's unpack this. I bought this house. It's owned by the organization. Okay. However, it's not my house. I bought it because it's own. I bought it with do donations, donations, gifts, gifts. And Dr. Umar, he's out of here too. No school. Donations, donations, gifts, gifts. Hit that like button, yo. So I bought this yard. Big ass, swanky ass yard. But it's not for me. It's to throw parties and shit. For BLM. And with said parties, it's just for the parties. It's not for me. I don't live there. I'm going to throw a birthday party for my son and I'm going to get you later. Okay. It's not my crib. I'm going to pay you a rental fee later. Don't worry. I'm good for it. You know, I'm saying I'm bank fam. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, the recent tax filing shows she paid the foundation an additional $390 over her use of the 650 square feet Studio City property for two private events. See? 390 I got you, fam. What is it? $390? Hold 400 Yo, fam. This is a mod thing, yo. She needs to buy a ticket to Cuba at the same fucking time. And be the fuck out of Dodge. 
It might be too late. They might have froze up her assets and shit. Okay, tax records show after um, spending more than thirty-seven million on grants, right? Real estate consultant and other undisclosed expenses, the BLM organizer is still worth tens of millions of dollars. A red flag that seemingly emerged from the tax records shows that Kuehler, Kuehler was, the founding, um, was the foundation's board sole voting director and held no board meetings. None? The 990 reveals that the BLM Foundation is the largest black ab ab abolition non -organi um, nonprofit organization. Sorry, I'm covering some words here. That has over um, that ever existed in the nation's history. So this is okay. The largest. This is the biggest organization that we ever had. Nothing tops BLM, okay? Black Panthers, okay? None of those movements in the past have come close to what BLM is, 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 is doing in these, um, what would I call these, activist streets, right? So to my son, to Mika Mallory, all them. Right, they they talking loud right now, right? Yo, what the fuck's up? Yo, what is what are they saying? What are they saying? What up, Dark Dreams? Getting woke today, fam. I know it's like usually uh, you know Toronto. Okay, you got to email some beats, fam. We could use the beats on the backdrops and all that type of shit for different things that we do out here. Well, yeah, I know we usually cover like the fuckery, the, the Toronto rapping and stuff like that. And who's who's talking on who on, on IG Live and who's, you know, into the um, who's getting locked up, who shot who. I just wanted to gain a little bit of a different bag today and get woke, you know, even though, like I said, I hate that fucking term, but I want to talk about some different shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is definitely crazy. And like I said, it's like a 10 steps or two steps forward, 10 steps back because how could we ever be taken seriously when we do organize and then it's what it looks like we're hoarding the money, balling it out of control on stupid shit. When this money could be going into, you know, they say grants, there's some, okay, so I want to see where some of that grant money is going to. I need to see the flip side of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to make my full judgment yet. Yeah, we have jokes, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, I want to see where on the flip side, some of these grants, where, who's benefiting from some of these grants. You know what I'm saying? Um, where are some of these donations going? What kind of schools have been built out of this shit? Like Dr. Umar, he's been trying to build a school forever. You know what I'm saying? They could have gave him money a long time ago. Yo, shit, fam. I heard that you're asking for donations, donations, gifts, gifts. Hold that. Go build your school. You could do it right now. I have the money. I just gave my bro 190000 for security. You want to build a school? Yeah, take that. But niggas don't fuck with each other like that. You know what I'm saying? What's my son saying? I'm 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 gonna do a little quick YouTube search. My son, and I don't have nothing against those guys. I'm not one of the team of oh ha ha ha. Let's go beat up on the verbally beat up on the activists and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about that life. But with all this shit that's going on, the shooting, the um exposing of black lives matter 
you would think that these guys that were like um, on the ground talking about this type of stuff would be more vocal right now. Okay, so I see something here. It seems that he's responded after um, being asked about Black Lives Matter. Well, niggas gonna ask you about this shit, fam. Because their mans were on the front line with them, no? Big smooth to chig smooth. Hold right, on, let me make it better on the screen for y'all. Let's make it better. There we go. Let's forward a bit. The general, my son. A black, black man got, got shot, shot down, and you look, look at the situation, situation like, that shit don't, don't even make sense. sense. Why, why they shot him down? down? The media didn't tell, tell me that. that. I, I see my own eyes. eyes. You're not even being able to see with your, with your own eyes. eyes. We, we watched, watched George Floyd, Floyd die, and we saw George Floyd, Floyd get choked. We watched the man choke George Floyd. That's a fact. You know, no, when, when, I, when, I, when I, I looked at him, um, Rihanna, Rihanna, Taylor, Rihanna, Rihanna Taylor was there. A boyfriend shot, shot a woman shot, shot which these, these, these are all things, things that are being said. They, they, they came, came up with fake, fake things, things to get a warrant. The paperwork said that. We looked, looked into, into everything, everything we did before we went out there to say you would get behind something. So, when you, you come, come in here with this, these, these, these right-wing right talking points, I'm, I'm shit. I don't, I don't want to hear about stupidity. I'm going to let him finish after. I just want to make sure that the man's are not low. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, when you jump on the front lines, and this is why I don't personally... Like, you don't see me at, like, protests and stuff like that. I'll do my part behind the scenes. Like, we have a platform here that we're able to lend our lend the voices or lend the microphones so that people, the voices get amplified, thankfully, and thank God. So, when it comes to doing my part, you're not going to see me jumping out the window at some Black Lives Matter um, protest or rally or demonstration because... I'm going to support my people in the way I, I support my people. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's giving them jobs, whether it's um, providing opportunity, any other ways that I know how, or directly saying, yo, oh, you need something? Yo, I got you. You know what I'm saying? And if it's just a small subset of people, that's okay because those people from the help that I'm able to provide can help other people. You know what I'm saying? And then that type of cycle goes on and that type of mentality goes on. You know what I'm saying? And as these microphones get louder, um, I've said this multiple times, you're not always going to like the things that I have to say or none of us on uh, over here on the platform, but we're going to say them, okay? Because it's what we feel is the truth, right? So when it comes to jumping out the window for all of these different organizations and stuff like that, I'm very weary, even over here in our own city. Because you just never know where the money's going and how it's being spent. When money gets involved, things get sticky, especially when it starts coming in in big lump sums and chunks. You're like, holy shit, I ain't never seen this money at one time. Oh my God, how much more can you give me? Holy shit. I'm the fucking shit. They love me. Right? So you got to be very wary when it comes to organizations and stuff like that. Um...